the Japanese go about their daily lives. Seemingly unfazed by the roughly 1,500 earthquakes that rattle the country each year. Japan is particularly at risk to seeing a lot of earthquakes because of its location geographically near four tectonic plates that are you know, moving around all the time. So even if you feel the shaking, you may not necessarily suspect a tsunami is coming. But on March 11, 2011, the biggest earthquake in Japanese history slams the country. Big underwater earthquake, nine on the Richter scale, led to an incredible tsunami. When you displace Earth underwater, you're then displacing water. You're creating this massive wave or series of waves. The epicenter is just 80 miles off the coast. In less than an hour, the first tsunami waves hit Japan. You barely have time to even say, oh wait, that was an earthquake. Oh yeah, there could be a tsunami. Oh yeah, let me get, and then the tsunami is there. It's a tremendous force of water that is coming in from the shoreline here. Millions of pounds of force that is working its way through this town. I can't get over that boat. Tsunami waves can follow drainage channels and move inland from the coast. And you feel the shaking because the force is so strong. And then here comes the water. It's not just water, it is houses, cars, everything. There's no defense against something like this. The tsunami surges inland as much as six miles. The fast moving seawater and debris is a nightmare come to life. Whoa. They could not have cut that any closer. I probably would have flipped it and not been so proper about that K-turn. They got out of there, got out of there fast. Thank goodness. There's no way you can survive that. There's no way. Like those in cars, pedestrians swamped by a tsunami rarely survive. Oh boy, every time I see this video, it gives me goosebumps. With very little warning, these individuals have to flee to higher ground to save their lives. In a matter of seconds, this turns into a catastrophic situation. There are several vehicles that have been washed into this area that are floating as projectiles. If anybody is still in the water here, they can easily get hit and taken out by the vehicles. Even when the camera is roughly jostled, the sound alone is disturbing. The audio is heartrending as you hear people just screaming because they know that they are being threatened by this tsunami. The individual shown in this video are believed to have reached safety on high ground and survived the tsunami.